everyone. Welcome back to my channel Pickers Gossip. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Nanny Faye Crisley's Worcester home abandoned. Where is she? Nanny Faye Crisley remains popular among Crisley, knows best fans, and when they discovered that the Worcester home seemed abandoned, the discussion turned to Todd Crisley's mom and where she stays. However, the family is involved in real estate, so it's hard to keep track of their homes. Some Crisley knows best family homes. When they moved to Tennessee, the family lived in a home that they paid $1.6 million for. Fans saw it for a bit, but in 2019, they purchased the Brentwood Mansion. Recently, it was sold for a profit. Meanwhile, Savannah purchased a condo which she sold. She also owned a home in Franklin, Tien. It is believed that the Worcester house is owned by Chase Crisley via a trust, but it's thought that Savannah lived there for a while. At one stage, Nanny Faye Crisley stayed in Savannah's Keith Street home, but she moved out after it was sold. However, nobody knows where she moved to. And as someone on Reddit pointed out, the Worcester house seems abandoned, so she doesn't live there. Nanny Faye Crisley lives in Florida. We reported in March that Savannah posted a reel on social media that revealed her grandmother moving out. As she didn't say where she was moving to, some people started guessing. Previously, fans heard that the older lady wanted somewhere without stairs in it. Crisley Knows Best fans concluded that Nanny Faye Crisley possibly moved into a home with Chase in Florida. That occurred after someone saw him on a TikTok live where he claimed that he and his grandmother were moving to Florida. What happened with the Worcester home? The OP on Reddit, who discussed the home thought to be owned by Chase or Savannah, wrote, The house on Worcester has been T.O.T.A. Lee abandoned according to aerial pictometry. Pool, yard and roof construction left to fall apart. Seems sketchy as well. Waiting for T and J to get out of jail. At one point Chase lived there, according to Kyle IG Post. What are they up to? And does Chase live with a new girlfriend? In the comments, people wondered where Nanny Faye Crisley moved to, and the story about Florida arose again. But it's interesting that more people discuss the house on Worcester Doctor. I think Worcester House is Chase's as I seem to recall him posting pics of it. The Caris Brook House Todd and Julie were renovating near the end of the series sold in March for $3.3 million per Redfin. Nanny was living in Savannah's house on Keats, St., but it was listed as sold on four acres for $1.257 million on Zillow. I knew they sold one house, guessing for legal fees. Surprised they would let it just sit, at least get a tenant in there. Regarding the whereabouts of Nanny Faye, one Crisley Knows Best fan said, Nanny was on the podcast recently talking about the move. Sounds like she lives in apartments now cause she said her neighbors were young people and they were trying to help her out when she forgot the code to get in. What are your thoughts about the Worcester home allegedly being abandoned? Do you believe that Nanny Faye Crisley now lives in an apartment? Let us know in the comments below and come back here for all your Crisley Knows Best Family News.